Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making these beautiful golden jade resin coasters. So let's jump in and get started. The colors I'm going to be using is this beautiful color shifting green Aurora Borealis pigment from Resin Pigment Canada. Can you see it's kind of like it's got a green color shift. It really shows up nice on a dark background and it's really subtle on a light background. I'm also going to be using the Resin Pigment Canada Winter White Tint. That's a resin tint. The Res Expressions Molten Gold and this Pearl X Emerald Pigment. And the resin I'm going to be using is the Woodcrafters Epoxy from the Epoxy Resin Store. Um, I'll link everything down below in the description if you guys want to get some too. And these are what we're going to be working on today. These are little 4x4 ceramic tiles. I went ahead and mixed up my pigments and my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial on exactly how to do that, I will link one down below and I'll put an I card right here. Just click that and it'll take you straight to the video and these tiles what I did to prep them was I taped the back with duct tape and I had done acrylic pours on them previously but I just didn't like how they turned out so I decided to go in and turn them into resin coasters so as you can see I just went in with my winter white tint and then that emerald pigment and the pretty color shifting green pigment I wanted to put that color shifting green on top of the emerald because I knew that that would really make it pop and I'm just going in as you could see with my gloved hand and smoothing out those colors just kind of blending them together so they're nice and blended And make sure you get the edges and the corners. You want to always make sure you get those too. I like working on these little 4x4 tiles. Um, I picked them up at my local hardware store because you can do acrylic pours on them. And then if you don't like how the acrylic pour turned out, you can always do resin on top like I'm doing here. It's kind of a fun way if you want to experiment with different techniques. The 4x4 tiles are nice. So I'm just about done, um, but I'm going to take a little bit of my runoff off the wax paper here and just touch up the edge on this coaster. I like working on wax paper because you can literally just take your finger and scoop up the resin really easy and use it. So that way you're not wasting resin because resin is too expensive to waste. Now I'm going in with that beautiful molten gold pigment by Lorez and just adding some gold accents. Now I'm going to heat everything up with my heat gun on high heat and move that pigment around. And the molten gold is a really, really nice gold. It's more like a bronzy gold, but it separates and the gold floats to the top and kind of gives you that really pretty reflective, almost like Mayron gold, but it's a, it's different. Um, it's a really, really nice pigment. You can get it from Laura's Art Corner on Facebook if you're in the U.S. She has a store on Facebook, so check out her store if you want to get any Lorez products. And I'll link Deborah's website down below too. She's the owner of Resin Pigment Canada. Um, she has tons of beautiful pigments on her website. So here I'm just going in with that molten gold and I'm just kind of outlining the edge of each of the little um, tiles here on my coasters just to kind of give it a little bit more of a gold pop on there. Just lining it just like that. And now what I'm going to do is cover it up and let them dry for 24 hours. And off camera I took this gold gilding paint after the resin was dry and painted the edges of my coasters. I did it off camera because it's really smelly. It's a really smelly paint. I got it at Michael's and you have to do it outside. So that's why I didn't film it. But here they are. Check it out. Look at how pretty and that beautiful. Can you guys see that color shift pigment? It's just a really nice subtle shimmery color shift on there. It's a really, really lovely pigment and that molten gold. See how it's really reflective and some of it's floating on top. It's a really pretty pigment. What do you guys think of these ones? Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and I hope you guys like this video. I had a lot of fun making these ones and I never really use green in my art, but I really think it's a fun, that emerald is just a really pretty fun pigment. So I'm gonna try to use green a little bit more in my art because I just love how these turned out. I feel like all the colors go so perfectly together. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are all doing good and you're having a good day and you guys have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Um, I hope you liked it. And if you did, go ahead and leave me a like or another thing that would help me out is if you go check out a few more of my other videos or even a playlist. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Um, only like 40% of my viewers are subscribed. So just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, right? <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on Monday for another video. Bye.